After the subgraph properties, we will see now the wall network properties. We will see the size, density, diameter, the different components, and the clustering coefficient. The most simple measure of a network is according to its number of vertices, V, or number of edges, E. Konsky proposed a row density, which is simply the number of edges divided by the number of vertices. But in the meantime, sociologists proposed a most standardized uh, index um, relative to the maximum possible unordered pair of nodes. So this maximum is v multiplied by v minus 1 divided by 2 for a non-oriented uh, network. And so um, the density is uh, now the number of ages divided by the this uh, multiplication of vertices multiplied by vertices minus 1. The a measure can be also based on paths, and we can take into account the geodesic distance, which is a shorter path between two nodes, taking into account the maximum geodesic distance between pairs of nodes i and g. And so uh, for all i and g, we can take the maximum. Uh, here, for example, in this graph, the maximum is uh, free between uh, nodes 1 and node 3. Also, we have example in the reality. Uh, Gimera uh, studying the air passenger network, found that uh, the, uh, the longer path uh, in the world is between two different airports, Mount Pleasant in the Falkland Island, and Wazoo in Papua New Guinea, with 15 different flights between both. Also based on paths, we can make the average pass length, so we divide all the uh, geodesic distances and their summary uh, by uh, the total number of possible uh, linkages between Two, two nodes. And here, for example, the uh, average distance is the total distance divided by, uh, by uh, 5 multiplied by 4, because there, there, there are 5 nodes, and so it is 1.6 in terms of number of, of, of paths. For example, also for the air passenger transportation, the average pass length is 4.4. We can also uh, measure the, uh, the size uh, of a network according to its number of components, so its connected subgraph. So the graph is Entirely connected, it is there is only one component. The graph is absolutely disconnected if there is more than one component. So we can also watch to the balance between components. With we can watch to the main component. Another measure is a, a reciprocity, and the reciprocity proportion, so the percentage of reciprocal or mutual linkages, we can make the uh, mutual man census for nodes. Another measure more uh, used is the uh, based on triad density, so going further to uh, mutual density. So let's take uh, the set of neighbors of the vertex V, so NV, uh, of size k, and all the number of edges between the different neighbors, E and V, 
and the maximum number of uh, edges that can connect the NV neighbors vertices, which depend of K, the number of uh, neighbors. So we can calculate the, uh, the cluster measure of a vertex, CV, which is the number of, uh, of connected uh, uh, neighbors divided by all the possibility, and it is minimal if the vertex V is the center of a star, for example. Here, for example, e, at right, we have a, a network with uh, five nodes, and there are four different linkages between the neighbors of V. So the all possibilities of linkages between the neighbors of V would be 10. So the cluster index or measure of the vertex is 0 0.4. Applied to the whole graph, we can calculate now the clustering coefficient, which is based on this cluster index. So it is the average cluster measure of all vertices. We, have, we always have the same definitions and we make uh, the summary of all the local clustering coefficient of the vertex divided by the total number of uh, vertices. So according to all these measures, size, density, diameter, different kind of um, and number of components and clustering coefficient, we will see now the different property of patterns of network.